Chef Buck here and today we're going to cook up eggs in a basket. Remember when you were a kid and you would uh, get some toast and your mom would cut a hole and put an egg in it? It's super simple but that's what we're eating now. We're still in Mexico so we're eating super simple at home because we've been eating out so much. So I've been eating a lot of breakfast stuff. Uh, there's a bakery nearby uh, that's really good and so we got this kind of fancy pants bread. And if you're making oh, eggs oh. in a basket you know, fancy pants bread is nice because there's a, not a lot to it. I mean, it's eggs and bread. This is thyme and olive, mm, but any kind of fancy so pants good. bread you can use is going to be nice. But you can just use plain Jane bread too. You can just get your Wonder Loaf, throw you an egg in there and cook it, cook it. But if you use a fancy bread, you can almost make like a giant crouton with an egg in it. Fry it up in butter and then serve it on top of a green salad. That's a $20 brunch item right there. But we're going to do... A fancy pants, kind of Mexican style, because we're in Mexico, so I'm going to put a lot of different Mexicana type of couture ma oh on my there. Oh my lord. My French is a little rusty. You want to slice it kind of thick, ideally, so that you can cook your egg and not bust the yolk. But if you had like a regular Wonder Loaf type of slice of bread, you could take like a cup, put it on there, and cut you out a little hole for your egg. I can't really do that here. I don't have a cup small enough. So I'm just going to dig me out an oval with a little knife here. And it'll work just as well. But you want to make sure and leave yourself enough edges around the bread to toast. Boom! Bread with a hole in it. That's all you need. I got me a skillet warming up over here. And I got it on low. And I'm going to throw me some butter. And you don't want to be shy with the butter. It's a lot of butter. Instead of buttering our bread, we'll just put butter all in the skillet. And then soak our bread in it. I'll do one side there, get it nice and buttery. I already tore my bread, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'll just butter up the other side. But the egg will help it stay together too. Yeah, the egg is going to seal it up. The bread broke kind of easily because this is an older piece of bread. We bought this loaf a couple of days ago. But that's okay. You can use uh, older bread for this. It doesn't really matter because we're putting so much butter on here and we're grilling it up. It'll kind of revitalize an older loaf of bread. We'll just go ahead and leave this alone for a few minutes and let it grill up on that one side before we put the egg in there because it's not going to take long for the egg to cook. Oh, look, I, look, at, look at that. Now my bread is really falling apart. But that's okay. I'm not giving up because I have faith that the egg is going to, it's going to be like, a, what is it, Gorilla Glue? Maybe it'll be like Gorilla Egg. You see it's starting to get a little grilly on this side. So I'm going to turn it over and then I'll let it do it on the other side. Oh, it smells good. All right. Excuse me, camera girl. Let me take my egg, give it a crack. Boom, boom, boom. Throw it in my thingamabob. Still on low? Still on low for sure. This is a pretty awesome kitchen. Boom! It's a house sit. If you want to find out more about house sitting, you can go over to the link down below at our, our, <laughs> our channel channel. But as awesome as this kitchen is, it doesn't have a spatula that I can use on a nonstick skillet. So I'm going to try to do it with this spoony spoon type thing. We have faith in you, Buck. Alrighty, don't, don't put a lot of pressure on me. Uh, <laughs> Where's the confident Buck we know? Uh, you know, confidence doesn't, that doesn't change the math. Boom, okay. Dun dun. You're taking too much time. Okay. Alrighty, well you see now the egg really did glue it together. We'll see. I might have tossed it too hard on the other side and busted the yolk. You don't want to bust the yolk. Don't bust the yolk. You know, because I kind of like the sauciness of it. But while that's going, it won't have to grill for very long. But come on over here, camera girl. Like I said, I'm going to do this kind of a Mexican-y type thing. So I got refried beans. Like I said, you could serve this on a salad. You know, make it kind of brunchy, but we're going to serve it on some beans. This is just some canned refried beans, and I went ahead and sauteed it up uh, with some onion and garlic and a little cilantro. It looks like it's holding together pretty well. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see what it looks like. Oh! I don't think my yolk busted. Lay it right across right there. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to throw me a little guacamole on here I made, because that'll be a nice color. Why not? A little bit of fresh cilantro. Mm. And then we got some papaya. We've been eating tons of papaya while we've been in Mexico. Now look at that. That's a, that's a piece of artwork right there. Very simple. And it looks like it was a lot of work. 
but you can't get any simpler. It's basically uh, toast and eggs. But I like to do it with kind of a nice thick piece of bread. That way you can cook it and it still has some yolk inside without busting. Now like especially if you had this on top of a salad, you know, and you could use that yolk as kind of a yolky dressing. And you can grill this bread up really well and it's almost going to act like a crouton. But you know you've got a nice little crunchy toast there, you've got the runny yolk of the egg. And then whatever the heck you want to put it on. I seem to remember when I was a kid, beans and toast, was that a popular thing? Or was that just in England? When I was a little kid, I lived in England for a while and I think, I think beans and toast was a thing over there. It's a good idea. It's just canned beans. Some leftover guacamole and fruit. This is like a $20 brunch plate at some fruit fruit place, you know, where you'd have to go and then stand in line. You know, you have to get up and go at 9.30 on a Sunday morning just so you can get a table. But you could stay home and eat your own beans and bread at home. What's better than that? All righty, here's camera girls. She didn't want all that stuff on there. She's going to do it with the uh, dressing on there. That sriracha mayonnaise? Yes. Telling you that adds a nice little taste. Looks like and, toothpaste. And this um, cilantro that we just stumbled on is also good. So, besides the egg yolk, which I think is a great sauce, I just have a little bit of extra. Well, dive in there while you still got a runny yolk. Tell me what you think. Right down the center. Ooh. Look how perfecto yours is, man. If you're nice, I'll share it with you. I already uh, cleaned my plate. Yeah, but I helped. I'll admit it. Just get a little shoop shoop. Shoop, shoop. Okay, well, you can kill the sound effects, dude. Well, it's late afternoon, so this is our dinner. It's a good uh, meal for dinner or for breakfast. Mm, good and crunchy, like you say, a crouton, like a really great crouton. Yeah, I think the key is making sure to grill the bread pretty well before you add the egg to it. And make sure that you slice the bread thick enough, or use bread that's thick enough so that when you put the egg in there, you can cook the egg and turn it and still have a whole yolk so that you'll have a runny yolk. Because it kind of sucks, you know, when you turn it in a yolk bus. That's no fun. But that's it. If you want some uh, recipe ideas uh, for this uh, egg in a basket type thing, go over to uh, myfoodchannel.com. You can find all the recipes over there. Subscribe, thumbs up, do all that stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Thanks for watching.